Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with this Sultai control list brought to you by Turn One Soul Ring. Really do appreciate the suggestion uh, and super, super enjoying this deck. Holy crap, is it a fun one. Uh, I hope you guys did check out part one. If you didn't, please go uh, pause this one, go to the first one, check it out. Uh, it's a really, really solid one. We got all three wins in the first video, which feels amazing. Uh, and uh, I'll be honest, I've fallen in love a bit with this deck. I absolutely love it. So uh, let's see what we can do this time around. Um, uh, first of all, let's look at our frame rates because they looked a little bad. Okay, we're back up to 30. Uh, so do we keep? I think we do. A um, little bit tricky as to what we need to fetch up with this Fabled Passage. Uh, black or blue would be helpful, specifically black now. Or green, uh, because we have the growth spiral, so it's a little bit tricky. Uh, oh, our frame rate is kind of kind of not good here. Um, we'll try and power through for a sec. If it doesn't, uh, it's getting worse. All right, let's just let's jump out. Uh, I don't want you guys to have to watch glitchy gameplay, so that's why we, we do that pretty regularly, just to avoid it. Um, and I've found it's very game specific based on who we're against. Um, I've done everything in my power to fix our network uh, to the best of my ability. Um, and for the record, I do work in web development on a regular basis. So this isn't like a not networking necessarily, but I do have some experience, I will say, with that. And um, we've checked every bottleneck that we could possibly check on our side. And it's really not like all that terrible on our end. So. Definitely think it's uh, game dependent. We're going to keep this. It's a bit slow, but we're going to try it. Uh, really do appreciate this uh, deck suggestion from Turn 1 Soul Ring. If, you, uh, if you're not in our Discord, he's a very avid user of our Discord and likes to hang out with us, and it's really fun. But uh, if, uh, if you would like to join that Discord channel, you're more than welcome to. Anybody's welcome to. The, the link is down below in the description. Come hang out with us. We've got about 50 people in there every once in a while that pop on and some are very very normal like regular users and it's it's great to see them hanging out and talking and doing all the good stuff uh, we'll get this down that's a bit of a frustrating pull only because this is going to get counters on it very soon um, but that's okay uh, hopefully we can get to this casualties of war pretty quickly now though with uh, a land in hand as well as a second uro we've got a hope uh, Ozolith. Okay. Well, we might actually get lucky and be able to kill this early. Um, looks like that's going to be the case. So, let's do this. Didn't have any counters on it, which is very helpful. Um, and let's go ahead and Thought Erasure here, actually. Uh, it's not necessarily the most mana efficient, but... Um, that's kind of an annoying card. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that. Uh, the fact that that exiles is super, super helpful. Um, kind of wish we had gotten a land, but we'll we'll figure it out. Um, I, I It's hard to pass up on an E to ex Extinction against any creature deck, just because uh, it's going to exile something really good. So, like, it's worth it, uh, in my opinion, to, to keep it, but definitely understand why it can be a bit tricky um let's go ahead and eat this get it out of the way um oh, there it is that's perfect so next turn uh we get to to casualties of war and we get to hit a creature enchantment artifact and land that's pretty good that is pretty good that's fine yeah you get a counter boom all right now everything's going to die. All right. Land, enchantment, creature, artifact. Uh, enchantment, land. There it is. <laughs> I love Casualties of War. It is just so good. Uh, it just does such a good job of uh, clearing that board as you need it. Um, and we can start Tamioing for Casualties of War and just do it again. <laughs> uh, though I will say it's not super relevant to do that at this point, I don't think. Um, land is helpful. Whoops. 
Uh, let's do this. Hmm. One, two, three. Uh, I think technically we just take Heartless Act, right? Because we just now kill this. And that way they can't kill Tamiyo, so that way, at least not right away. Um, so we've just got a little bit more that we can do. Um, next turn we can Uro. Oh, okay, sure. That makes sense. You got it. Can't be too mad about that. Clean removal spell. Um, let's Uro. Oh, yes, please. Let's pay two. And let's get you down. Um, I'm going to do this. Uh, no, just kidding. Can we not submit zero? It has to have a target. I was hoping we could submit zero and then just make them exile a thing from their hand, but I guess that doesn't work. Eh, you learn. All good. All right. Um, well, do this. Uh, do this. Go ahead and uh, exile the top two first. Kaya's Wrath. Interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and play this now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I know we're exiling some good stuff here, but we don't have a Tamiyo anyway. Um, so I'm not tremendously worried. And I'd rather keep digging through our deck. Oh, there we go. Um, just to make sure that we've got answers. Uh, thankfully, the Sultai list is very good at having answers. So happy about that. Um, all right, see what they want to do. Apparently not much. Um, what did we exile with it? Not enough, right? It's just plus up. Technically we should have attacked first, but I don't think it's gonna matter all that much. Ooh, well hi there. Um, that's not bad. Yeah, let's play you out. Just, just cause. Um, what do we want is the problem. Um, uh, probably just Nissa, and that's fine. We didn't get there. Um, but we have an instant speed heartless act, so like, I'm feeling okay. Feeling pretty good. Um, I think this next turn we win if they. I mean, they play a creature, we heartless act immediately. Um. And whatever they play, we can just minus three on Ashiok and kill it. So, like, unless they have a way to deal with creatures and Ashiok, we're in pretty good shape. Um, I'm loving this deck. Holy crap, this deck is sweet. Um, I always love Sultai Control, but this is just... It just feels so smooth, uh, is what I will say. Um, opponent just taking time to decide on their two plays potentially that was a bit harsh all right there we go all right first win in the bag we're up to four in total oh uh we did concede that first game but obviously that was a frame rate thing i'm not going to count it so all right Ooh, we got tons of stuff uh you you all very useful cards all right let's jump into game two. Oh my goodness is this that good though my goodness love the consistency with this one um it does feel much more consistent than a lot of other decks that i've played uh which i really appreciate um uh a wellspring deck we're gonna try this is this a gates deck oh come on or is that just i i have been up against one other wellspring deck so i have absolutely no idea what it's good at or good for golos is that a thing it's a gate stack <laughs> sure uh whoops <laughs> well we took two damage for no reason we're representing a heartless act excuse me that's what we're doing or a gross spiral neither of which we have but the opponent doesn't know that yeah, it happens. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yep. 
That's fine. Uh, we're just going to leave up Murderous Rider this turn. Since we can do that at instant speed, I'm just going to play Swamp and then pass, most likely. Um, does that change anything? Not really. No. We get to play safe based on our deck, so like I don't really... I don't feel obligated to rush into ramping right now. Um, sure. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Um, we can take one. I don't care about that. We are going to murder a Strider this ram, though. Can't can't let that stay. Um, all right. So... Do we just Uro? I think we do, because we do have uh, Casualties of War in our hand that we are very, very much hoping to get to. Um, unfortunately, Ashiok, very not good uh, for us, just because we've we've already got one. Um, Ashiok in general, great. Ashiok in this instance, not great. We really just want land. But we'll see. Hopefully we can get there. Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, by the way. I always forget to mention that, um, but I hope you guys had a good time great weekend uh let's see i don't care about this um dude i'm just gonna grow spiral honestly Ugh. i was kind of hoping we would hit a land and maybe we could like play out murderous rider that's why i did it on our our um main phase i will say i think we could go up one land to 26. I know that seems like a very minuscule thing, but I could see that being helpful. Uh, we've we've run into this is our second major instance where like lands have been a little bit distant from us, um, and so it would be nice every once in a while to to make sure that we're hitting them on the right to, on the right time. But that's okay, not a huge deal to be honest. And there we go, we're getting there. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's get green, um, and I'm just going to extinction event, uh, for odd, <laughs> just to get rid of the wellspring. Um, I assume that's their big key card. So like, let's just get rid of it. We could have just murderous ridered it, but like me murderous rider is a bit more flexible. So I'd rather have that available to us at different times. Oh, please a land. A land right now would be amazing. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's just make sure. Black, green. Okay, we're good. So we can get anything. That's it. That's all we needed. Uh, we'll just get a black here. Casualties. Land. Creature. Artifact. Um. Can we take them off of a color? No. Uh. Well, we can take them off a of white. It's probably not all that helpful in this instance, but we're going to do it. All right, so we just cleared their board, so that's good. Oh, good, they have white again. <laughs> so the whole th their whole thing is that they just get to keep bringing this thing back, this chamber sentry. I mean, that's fine. I don't particularly care. Um... We can kill it again, but like, what's the point? Let's just let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, that way we do have Murderous Rider available to us. Um, we're going to attack. They're going to block, I'm guessing. Because they just get to bring this back. No, they're not. Good. All right. Um, and now we can either Murderous Rider or Grow Spiral. But we've got options. All the options. Um. Hmm. Might should have waited till the end step. Or after they attacked. But that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I see. Their whole thing is that they just want to deal X off of that. I mean, that's annoying. But it's not really... Not really all that helpful. Ooh, mean. That's fine. 
There we go. So next turn they get to do this again. That's fine. Uh, let's untap you. And let's just do this again. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright. That feels pretty good. Sure. Play it out for four. It's pretty solid. Um, but if they play it out, we get to absolutely kill it. So, like, that's fine. Uh, so, the, what I mean by this, if they get to play this out, they no longer have any mana to remove counters. We get to do this. <clears throat> and now they just have to exile it, so they lose it completely. So that feels pretty good. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, uh, we do have to tap that, don't we? Okay. That was weird. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, five, excuse me. Whoops. All right, let's get Uro down. And so I gotta be honest, feeling pretty good. Uh, don't have a tremendous amount that I feel like we need to worry about. Um, so we're just gonna attack in. Gates of Blaze. Well, that was actually a bit of a worry card, so I'm glad that we got rid of both of those. Um, hopefully they don't draw a third in, in a row. That would be a little weird. All right, there we go. Second win, down, let's go. Uh, into the third and final game, technically sixth and final game of this deck. And my goodness, guys, uh, this has been truly a, a fun one to play. I really do appreciate turn one soul ring. It means a lot that you, uh, you submit decks. You seriously, I cannot overstate this enough. Um, how fantastic it is to have people like turn one soul ring in our community. We've got a number of people, so I'm not just trying to single one person out, but given that he suggested this deck, I feel like it's fair. Um, the the fact is he he has submitted so many decks to us it literally is like we just get to go pick and choose a deck and so i try and be very fair and not just always pick you know turn one soul rings decks but um given the number that are suggested by him it's fantastic to see that so thank you genuinely i really do appreciate it and uh it's great to have so such a great uh, supportive community um we'll see how the frame rates do here we're a little low I don't think we can do it. Um, I think the opponent has mulliganed like a butt ton of times anyway. So maybe we'll just wait. Maybe we cannot lose technically. Like I would not want, I don't really want to concede if we don't have to. Um, Cause our record means so much to me. <laughs> All right, but they're taking a while. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. All right. That was a really good starting hand, by the way. I just want to point that out. Um, like, we had options there, which was pretty nice, but that's okay. We will jump into the actual, hopefully, final game uh, if we can get good frame rates, and that way you guys don't have a terrible game to watch. So, let's see if we can do it. Against a uh, very foreign person. I, I don't know where you're from, I'm sorry. Uh, but, nice to... I like seeing varieties of uh, random stuff going on. All right. We're going to Uro, uh, obviously. Be great to have, like, a, a Thought Scour or something drawn on this turn so we can kind of start pulling from the hand. But Umori, and they've got all creatures. Casualties of War, not going to be quite as powerful here. Um, not bad, just not as powerful. Worth noting. Uh, we really have to hope we hit some lands, though, off the top. Be great to get to, like, Ashiok. Be pretty sweet. Uh, that helps just to ensure that we've got another land to drop with Uro, so I'm happy about that. Oh, there we go. You can enter tapped. Um, so next turn we can just, you know, whatever they play this turn, Overgrown Tomb, use Ashiok, bounce it, and make them uh, get rid of it. Is that... Did they last turn do the thing? Okay. Maybe I missed it. Um, let's do this. Uh, and let's do this. Make him replay it. What do we get? Baby Godzilla! Woohoo! 
Uh, so this is a mutate deck, which means this can probably kill this, potentially. Um, good news is, though, once they do that, we get to casualties of Orit, so that feels pretty good. Or they just play Mori again. It's totally fine. Still are going to casualties of Orit. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, eat to extinction. Also pretty good. Um... Maybe we eat to extinction instead. I don't know though, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'd rather hit the land also, because we, we kind of have to do both. Um, just a two for one, nothing too crazy here, um, but let's try and get him off of blue. Ooh, ear itches, sorry guys. All right, um, now at least we have a blocker, so protecting Ashiok's a little bit easier. Uh, might have been better to get rid of this Castle Garenberg, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's good. Don't particularly care, because we just get to kill it, but, you know. Does this have Trample? No. Good. Let's get rid of it. Perfect. Alright. Uh, you. Do the thing. This. Uh, land. Creature. You and you. All right. Uh, this does have trample, which is a bit of a worry, but I can't let him have that sterics just because it does way too much. <laughs> um, and also, you know, as long as we can save this for a turn, uh, we just get to eat to extinction this. So, like, I'm not tremendously worried. Ooh, we got rid of a heck of a good card. All right. Um. We're just going to plus up. We are going to eat to extinction this. Might have been better to t let them target it first, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that. We'll just go ahead and do this now. All right. We're in kill every threat we can territory. Uh, thankfully, casualties of war is going to help us. Um, keeping them off of, you know, quite so many lands is very, very helpful. Ooh, what does this do exactly, honestly? Whenever this creature exits. Oh, that's pretty good. I like it. I mean, it's pretty solid. <laughs> they got a grazer. <laughs> uh, do they get to kill Ashiok, though? They do. <laughs> they got a grazer. I'm sorry. That's funny. Um, ooh, land. Let's do the thing again. Uh, land creature. You and you. And we'll attack just because. Um, not necessarily great to, but it exiles cards from their deck, which kind of in the camp of we need to do that. All right. I mean, so far we've been lucky enough to be able to deal with every threat, but it's worth noting at this point we are kind of running out. Um, that does help. Um, odd. Yeah, that was pretty good. Nice two for one. Um, that's also quite good, to be honest. Attack him. And now they are down to, you know, two cards in hand. Looks like one card per turn, which is great. And that's a good card. That's a better card. Um, <laughs> we just gonna kill it. We're gonna pull back um, Casualties of War. All right. So they're playing one card per turn. It's either gonna be a creature or a land. They do not have other options, so unfortunately that has Hexproof, which is, like, kind of slightly annoying. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Nyssa. Hey, we got there. That's pretty good. Let's play out Nyssa. Untap this. I'm playing a bit quickly here, uh, but I think that's fair. Alright, there we go. It's kind of just waiting for them. All right. 
we won all of our games with this deck uh, outside of conceding two of them due to frame rate. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, again, thank you to Turn 1 Soul Ring. Second of all, holy crap is this deck sweet. Uh, this deck is, like I said, right up my alley. Uh, I love a good control deck. I also really love the Sultai color combination, especially right now in Standard where there is so much ramp and so much removal. Uh, you just get so many powerful things, not to mention, of course, the Planeswalkers. So uh, what I like about this version of Control versus the Azorius or uh, maybe Jeskai Control is a lot of those are based on counter magic, uh, which is nice. Not Nothing wrong with that, of course, but uh, it's a bit more frustrating to either play or play against because you're very, very reliant on just having counters and hopefully maybe a sweeper uh, to get you there. What's nice about this is um, so much of the removal deals with creatures and planeswalkers or uh deals with multiple creatures at a time or you know anything like that or in the instance of casualties of war just kind of deals with everything um and not to mention that's just one of my favorite cards so you really hit it out of the park with this one uh adam that great great suggestion I absolutely love this deck of course recommend it this is not necessarily a new deck this is something that we've seen you know, Sultai control decks have been around for a little while, is what I mean. Um, different variations, of course, and I think some some particular cards that were a little bit different. Uh, one in particular is Extinction Event. Um, that's not one that we necessarily see a ton of in Standard at the moment, uh, just because there are different options out there, and obviously, no matter what, it's only going to hit about half the time. Um, so you do have to be a little cautious with it. But what we're seeing is you can kind of tailor your 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 uh, your opponent's board a little bit when you've got targeted removal with the extinction event so that way you can get max value out of it so uh, in particular i believe in video one uh, so again please do go watch that one but in video one uh, we were against a mono white list and they had a healer's hawk they had the impassioned whatever it is that the two two for two uh, that gains a life every time a creature comes into play and then an ajani pride mate coming down we knew that they were playing that Ajani Primate, so what we did is we used Heartless Act to kill the Healer's Hawk, and then followed that up next turn with, I believe it was next turn, with the Extinction Event to two for one their board and just be able to wipe both of them because they were both even converted mana costs, the, the Primate as well as the uh, Impassioned whatever. Uh, Orator, is that it? Uh, anyway... We got to kind of tailor our removal to make sure that we were getting that max value. And I think that's what really, really lends itself well to uh, Extinction Event. Not to mention, and uh, let me let me just double check just so I'm not giving you false information here. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, this Exiles, correct? Uh, yes, Exiles. And that's very, very important in today's standard environment. Not to mention things like E2 Extinction Exile as well. Uh, you really want the exile effects as much as you can uh, in regular standard right now, just because there are so many things that recur value, and you just can't you just can't deal with it. Uh, you you have to be able to exile. So very very en much enjoyed this deck. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I really do hope you guys uh, enjoyed these videos. We got six wins. That's pretty awesome. I think that's only happened one time other than now, which was mono red. So uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, and I will be very, very excited to be recording the next video, hopefully very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.